Hey, welcome, welcome back to Jack and Daxter, Legacy of the Persecutors. Is that a reference to something? I don't know. It's too hot. I'm not, I'm not clever when it's hot. Yeah, it's been on the warm side today. It was no, real hot yesterday. Normally, normally I wouldn't mind if something was like a bit hot, but because I would have like an air conditioner, but I don't have an air conditioner. So, so I'm just like fucking miserable. Alright. What was oh. the last thing we streamed on your end? It was AI Dungeon. Yeah, it was AI Dungeon. Which, thanks, uh, we're, we're getting Parsec running. You, you caved and you decided, you are like, hey, I'm downloading Parsec. And it, which is kind of funny, because I, I didn't download Parsec. I thought you, you were just like, okay, we can't use Parsec, so... Well, we talked about it as an option. It's a, it's a remote access program, so we could hopefully use it to continue Pokemon. Oh my god, why is this so fucking loud? I don't think I... Yeah, the game's really loud. Is it loud on your end? Uh, no, it is appropriately leveled, so... Oh my god, okay. You should probably just turn down your, uh, your headphones or whatever. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, no. Back. Circle is not exit. C nope, this was before that change. Hey, kids. Oh, that's right. I, ca I can't touch the center pad because the center pad is, uh. It controls the mouse. Oh, Max is like. On the PS4 controller. Yeah. Alright, so I need 45 power cells. So, okay, that's right. So we last need to go time back. we found out we needed a lot more than we have. Yeah. So the best way to get them is probably to go back. To yeah. The so first area. So I'm going to we can warp to inside the hut. Yeah. So I'm going to head back to the first area, and then uh, we'll see what happens. All right. I gotta remember. Got your best perfect double jump, no awkwardness <laughs> at all to the way this game controls. I'm sorry for I'm sorry for talking shit about this game's double jump. Truly it is perfect and incredibly you Did I see that area before? I think we've been to all the sub areas. What is that statue? Beware of the dark light, for it has twisted the fate of one of you. Bring me one hundred and twenty precursor orbs. For each power cell I contain. Can this I just... thing sounds like a hollow. I don't know if I trust it. Just... I'm no. Good. You need its permission. You can't do that. You don't rob the ancients, Jack. I, you I, don't punch out Olmec. I can and I will. Olmec, Olmec is a... Olmec doesn't do shit. Hey, I don't think I've been back here. Oh. It does. Oh, you had enough for both of those anyway. Oh. Okay then. Well, we'll, we'll come back. You can just keep going this way. Yes. Yeah. Wait, what? Whatever. Oh. Yeah, we were we are way behind on fucking power, on fucking. Uh, were they power power cells? Power That's cells the, and precursor orbs. That's the Guffin McMackis. Which the Guffin McMackis in the next game is the precursor orbs, because they're rarer. <laughs> oh, eh. this just goes back up here. Well, good. Well, I guess we should go get those then. While yeah. We're here. So we're going to Green Sage's hut. Or is it guys back around? Out and go back to talk to that statue again so we get those two. Okay. Uh, there we go. So, why is Jack a silent protagonist? Why is anyone a silent? Why is Mario a silent protagonist? He's not a silent protagonist. He clearly says stuff. He speaks Italian and like Wahoo! It's a me. It's a me. So long. He doesn't have dialogue. He was he was the only non-speaking character in Sunshine. So long, Gabe Bowser. Uh. 
so that that's new since I believe the last time we streamed. L is real. Yeah, apparently somebody got access to a bunch of like uh, classified Nintendo documents. There we go. That's what. Well, I'm they got there. that. They they data mined the files from Here Donkey Kong and Mario 64. Oh yeah, and then L. They found the L. Uh, they found uh, Luigi textures in Mario 64. For your and uh, someone managed to like a remake a playable Luigi in the game. Yeah. Congratulations. Were, I think there were a couple voice clips for Luigi in there too. And uh, uncompressed. So long, Gabe Bowser. Well, some people were uh, posting around. Now I can get back to my research. Super Mario World beta sprites. I guess it might, maybe it was a bunch of like uh, beta stuff. Yeah, somebody somebody found a bunch of beta Nintendo shit and leaked it, which is l legitimately impressive. And I I wonder how Nintendo took it. I can't imagine they were very happy about it. Or maybe they oh, didn't probably. care. All right, where where am I going? I'm gonna maybe go. Nintendo leaked it to promote the upcoming 35th anniversary Mario collection on the Nintendo Switch. This confirms it. It's totally happening. Oh, hey. Oh, God. If we get the all 10 flies. Jax. You found all the scout flies in this area. All 10 Jinjos. Jinjo. Oh. Is this what we need to get back to the? No, this is this is to the. Well, didn't I'm... we pass? Uh, we passed a blue eco thing between here and the hut, though, didn't we? Oh, did we? I think so. If you go back through that tunnel. Uh. Hmm. Oh yeah, that thing. Okay, I'm gonna see about. I don't know if I can make it. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. Come on. I'm not sure how else they uh, expect you to get it. Maybe not. Yeah, no. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back to world one. Hold on, what's up here? Have levels. Oh, that's okay. I get it. That's the path. The lava path. Okay. Where were they going without ever knowing the path? I think that's how that song went. So we're going to Green Sage's hut or Geyser Rock? Which yeah. one? Geyser Rock was the tutorial. Okay. Tough. You punch it and you just bounce off of it. Oh god. Yeah, that's right. The overlooking the village. So I was actually wrong. I looked it up. Uh, Radical Six, which is a, a, a thing, a virus from the Zero Escape series, uh, it actually doesn't make your perception go slower. It actually speeds it up. Oh. And that's one of the you know, that's one of the symptoms of having the virus. You know what what uh, what the other symptom is? What? You kill yourself. Oh, that's quite a symptom. Yeah. And apparently this virus was so powerful and so deadly, it was responsible for killing. How many people was it? It was six. Uh, six? Yeah, six. Six billion people. They said, like, oh, the bodies just caked every, everything. The stench was horrible. Apparently, yeah. in order to stop the spread, they had to de they had to, like, detonate 12 antimatter reactors. And keep in mind, this isn't, like, what happens in the game. This is just background. The game's like a room escape game. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Maybe maybe we should LP it or, or like stream it one of these days. I like a good puzzle game. I'm still trying to look at levels a little bit because you were a lot louder than me in the AI dungeon video. Yeah, uh, think about it. Listen. Okay, so we're at Sentinel Beach. We need to free the seven scout flies. We got five. So we can find two more. And then, uh... And then we also... We have two unknown. Two unknown. Orbs. Sounds good. Let's find them. Let me know what I need to turn up or down. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to... It's, it's hard to listen while I'm also... I, I, I had to mute the Discord call, so I'm coming in a little bit late right now. Yeah, go for it. I don't mind. I'll just ramble. So... Hmm. Jack, go into the water. Don't come out of the water. What? Is there an O2? No, you just come back up. It's Legend of Zelda rules. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, you can just hold square. So... Is there an oxygen limit, or is Hello, it- Darian. I don't remember if there's an oxygen limit or not. Do you want to find out? Alright. Well, we got- hey, can cyborgs have sex? Do you want to find out? Uh, another time, ma'am. That actually happened. Ghost in the shell. So, I have a feeling she was just taking this. She wouldn't have done it. Then again, no. maybe she would have. Well, he was an actual kid. He wasn't like yeah. an adult in a robot kid body or something. That we know of. He was just messing with him. Yeah. And he just was like playing it off, being like, oh, I, I'm not. T can't stand the fact that he got teased. Oh. Hey, we found one of them. It was a power move. <laughs> Would you call this a power move? No, I'd call this a power move. Wait, hold on. Did you see that? What? Dex, for a moment, like, he did a T-pose to assert his dominance. I, I missed that. He did... He... Okay. We have... Oh, we get the cannon now. Yes. Alright. Well, this probably leads to another orb, depending on what we blow up. This, this is for Sancho Vila. Uh, okay, there we go. Come on. Okay, I can Doesn't charge go it. Very far. I can charge oh. it. Almost. Come on. No, almost. Okay, it, it, you don't have to. I don't know if we're gonna get the windmill. Ah, oh, damn it. For Sancho. Maybe, maybe this will do it. No. Drat. Okay. What else is around? Uh, those statues are probably out of range. Hmm. Maybe down there. No. Is that the farthest left and right that you can go? Yeah, so this is my maximum left what left hand. If I go uh, that right. Looks like something underneath the windmill and to the left in the wall. Yeah, I see I, I see that. There's no sight on these things. I kinda have to use the uh the points of the polygon to uh, to cite it. I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, this is not gonna work. That hill is way too far away. Well, drat. I imagine the cannon has to be useful for something. I don't know what. I mean, it, we get the treasure chests down there, but we already caused them to like fire anyway, so... <sighs> Maybe we just have to feel good about uh, taking down a dangerous piece of, uh, of equipment. I, I don't so. know. Alright. Uh, what, is there anything down in this tower? Wait. Wait, what's this? Get down. What are you? That, you're, you're, oh, okay. There's nothing down, it's just this tower. 
Oh, those is the like the first person to use the goggles. I just realized. Yeah. Okay. Well. Oh. <laughs> I just did a header on the rocks. Also, I think that, that is fish fine. is coming at me. Okay. It's, uh oh. That's fine. I'm, I uh. I escaped. Oh, so we haven't gotten all the flies yet. No, we haven't gotten all the flies. We've been uh, we've been avoiding that because uh, when our quests are not 100%, we've been forced to do backtracking through uh, through that method. Game audio can turn down a bit. Are me and are me and Jack's voice about equal? I was having a hard time telling. So are they telling me to turn down the game's audio? Uh, Darian's suggesting. That, yeah. All right. Yeah. See, I knew it. <laughs> I knew I knew there was something fishy about about the game audio. Down. Okay, there we go. Zelda, Zelda, you're quieter than the game and Jack. Okay, I'll turn, I'll okay. turn you up. That's what I was worried about because that was happening with the, uh, the AI dungeon. Maybe, maybe it's just my boisterous personality. All right. All right, I've turned myself down a little bit and turned you up a little bit, so we should be fine. Okay. Uh, I think you turned yourself down too much. I don't think you needed to turn yourself down. Oh. See, this is this is a uh, this is this is experimentation phase. Okay, I'm back up, and you're and you're up. Okay. Uh, yeah, it sounds better. Cool. Alright, let's go. Oh, no. Alright, so... Hold on. I guess I could, uh... You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up a guide for the orbs, just... Just because. Chase the seagulls. Oh. Like, from one location to the next? Dex! They're just seagulls. Calm the fuck down. Dax is going crazy over some fucking seagulls. Also, thank you for uploading those Smash highlights. I need to be reminded about just how much of an asshole I was when playing Smash. I, I, I'm not trying to I highlight know. it. I'm just saying... Wait. See... Did what? What? What just happened? The seagulls. The seagulls caused a rock slide. Wow! They caused an avalanche. Let's check it out. How? The seagull. <laughs> seagulls just. <laughs> Did they catch Radical Six? Did they just kill themselves by flinging themselves at the fucking mountain? Nah, I'm, I'm not proud of how I how I acted when playing Smash. I got way too fucking like into it. I've been trying to mellow out my attitude a bit. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to highlight the funny moments. I know. Well. I know. The one that went up today is mostly me being a jerk. <laughs> you were you were playing the way you you, you you needed to. You were you were. <laughs> it was my fault for falling for your shit. No, it wasn't. It wasn't even you. I was playing against. It was people in, uh, in an arena, for the most part. Well, I do plan on getting a switch someday and, and taking up the man. And uh, again, taking up the mantle of Super Smash Brothers. I have. Uh, I did get rival rivals. I probably need to like. Uh, I need to boot it up to like a tutorial or something. Yeah, I think that plays. Cool. That plays differently than uh, than Smash. We'll probably do at least a stream of it just to try it. Yeah. And uh, I got Soul Calibur 6, which I need to boot up and try. And I got that mostly just for the custom characters. Yeah. Because they look silly in recent Soul Calibur games. Yeah. Soul Calibur 6 is like a reboot of the Soul Calibur storyline. I don't know yeah. why they felt the need to do that, but. Yeah, come on. Get all the eggs. We need them. 
Can I offer you a nice orb Egg. in the trying time? A nice orb. In we're already up here. We pushed an egg off. So we... Yeah, we did this Are we looking section. for another bug? Yeah, we're looking for the final bug. It's around here somewhere. Back. We backtracked, but it was our fault. Is there a, that's right, there's a day-night cycle in this game, isn't there? Well, yeah. Well, I'm I sure. was just thinking, why is the screen suddenly so dark? Cause Oh, because it is dark. Games with a day-night cycle. Oh, uh, I this was this, I was reminded of the day-night cycles, and it which reminded me of Ocarina of Time, which reminded me of this. Did you know that somebody remade like they did a, a fusion hack between uh, or like a, a yeah fusion hack between uh, Ocarina of Time and Banjo Kazooie? They basically remade Ocarina of Time maps in Banjo Kazooie, which included using Ocarina of Time like. Music in the banjo sound font. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Vinny streamed that, and I saw it. Yeah, it looks pretty awesome. There's a lot of stuff that they uh, mix, like resources for N64 games for. It's probably not up here. Hmm. It, c it couldn't be in the water, could it? I would much rather it not be in the water. I don't think there's, there would be any way to break it if it was in the water. Fair enough. It's probably in some out of the way area. Could it be on the other side of these uh, stone temples? Come on. No. So. Uh, what within the? In the? Within the left sentinel. The left si sentinel. Oh no, this this must be the sentinel. Yeah, here I got that one. Okay. Use an uppercut to beat the wooden pile three or four times up. That that's the one we Door. did. Yeah, we got those. Some mentioned near the start of the area, and some on the way up to the egg where we were just at. Okay. Start of the area. We got that one. I mean, how many do we have? Not, but we got six out of seven. Yeah. But and I don't want to just leave. Wait, could it be up here? Fortunately, unlike Banjo, if you leave a level, your collectibles are kept for the time when you return. Yeah, they even fixed that in Banjo Tooie, where you you you. you they remade Banjo. Oh, I like don't step on that. I like Banjo Tooie more than Banjo Kazooie, and I'm sure some people will be kind of raw about that. But I don't know. Oh, there's too much to collect. They ruined it. Too much to collect. Oh man, there's too much to collect in this game. Anyway, here's a game I really like. It's called Ukulele. Hat and Time is uh, pretty much opposite of uh, Odyssey in terms of collectible design. Oh, yeah? The, the big MacGuffins, there are only 40 of in the base game. Oh, okay. And they're a lot more intense. You have to go through like a whole chapter to get one. Oh. As oh. opposed to, you know, Mario Odyssey, the moves are just scattered everywhere and they're all mostly very small tasks to get them. I, I would have thought that uh, the Game Blue Eco would have increased our swimming. swimming speed, yeah. Uh, I wrong. guess that's more like the stars in Mario Galaxy is half the time, because those were all pretty substantial missions to get each one. Yeah, so half the time there's only like 40. So it's, so it's stars except more. Uh, oh yeah, there's it's also you know more story involved, a lot of cutscenes and humor to it. As opposed to the so, Mario games. I forget, I may have asked this question, but so. Does the girl from Hat in Time have a name? Just Hat Kid. Oh. There's a uh, player two. And you were and we were and you were and you were making fun of me back in the Paper Mario days about about Goom Goombario's well, name. Well, weren't in yet, Jack. You got you gotta go with the times. <laughs> I you realize that I'm gonna keep giving you shit about this every when we start playing Hat in Time. 
Oh, oh. Do we still have no proof yet of how the ghost's name is pronounced. We don't know if it's Bow or Bow. Yeah, it's the point's moot. You know, you know what her her name is in Japanese, or Rasara, or something. Okay. Well, you, how it went was that uh, you thought it was obviously pronounced Bo because yes. you were Bo, and I thought that's stupid just because it's the name of her clothing. Yeah, and that started the art of the whole. Oh, what's that on the left? It's a windmill. How uh, you think? Uh, no, like go forward from where you just jumped up here. Yeah, that's not. Wait, is that a chest? No, that's not a chest. I can't direct you in real time because I'm I'm delayed because of the stream. I see some chests. I'm gonna go for it. Maybe it's up here. I thought I saw the bug chest. Oh, you did. Okay, I'm going back. There, right. I'll cross that bridge. It's been on the screen like three times. Fuck. Turn around. 180 degrees. Look forward. Back. I see it. Bark, bark. Now, here's the real question, dude. We collect all the eggs. No. I don't need to collect every single egg. No. I have before. I've gotten the 100% ending. It's not worth it. No, of course it's not, because you just see it anyway at the beginning of... Imagine 100%. You know what was a good 100% like uh, thing you, you got? When you, uh, when uh, Super Mario Sunshine, you get 100%. And Mario wears a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. That was a good 100% quest item. That was the thing for GameCube games. You got you unlocked a costume. I like I like costumes. I, I want more games to uh, to add we like alternate costumes to a game if possible. Oh, you'll be happy with. Uh, well, I'll be happy. Yeah, Mario with... Odyssey has full costumes. Half yeah. The time as hat just as hats. <sighs> well. That's better than nothing. Alright, that's taken care of. Let's, uh... So we have... What other areas are here? There was the jungle. I think there was a mountain level, right? Wait, hold on. What the fuck? Oh, there's still plenty in the village. Yeah. I think we Scout need... Scout flies. I, I forget. I gotta hit... I gotta hit, like, start to fucking... It was at some point in the PS2's life cycle that, uh... Because PS1 games were more or less all triangle was to go back. And yeah. at some point, partway through the PS2, it switched to circle. Because they realized... the tanks were mostly, mostly circle. Well, because... Because you have select on the bottom, and then... And then... And then... B is like... B is almost universal. As like, back. B for back. A for accept, B for back. And... People's muscle memories are like, okay, A. Yes, I get you're lazy, I get it. So, there's a oracle on this in Sandover Village, like the statue we talked to. Oh, there so is? So we need 240 orbs to get both of its power orbs. Oh, oh power I see it. It's up there. How many do we have? Uh... Uh, 94. You think he'll give us a discount? I don't think so. Alright. Well, let's move on to the next level, then. Got Forbidden Jungle, Misty Island, Fire Canyon. Forbidden... Forbidden Jungle. Oh, this is Fire Canyon. This was the way oh. to the next area. Yeah, we don't need to do this again. So I guess we go to the jungle, or we go to the, the evil, dark eco island. Let's go to the jungle again. Which is this way? Yes, uh, it's yes. this way. There's also a fly up on top of that plateau. Do you see it? Uh, plateau. The left. It really sucks, just... You think, when, you I think say left, I'm when I say left, I'm referring to the way Jack is currently facing. Left from Jack. Yes. So, here. Right now, straight in front of Jack. Where Jack is currently facing, where uh, his eyes are looking. Oh, no, up, that up was there. Not where he was looking. Up yes. these stairs, got it. Up these stairs. Wow! Check out that funk 
funky skunk just sitting on a rocks over there. That funky skunk shot. One more. All I need. Hmm. Kira, couldn't you program your stupid flies to come back? They make the noises, man. Right. Oh, Jack, that's not as fun. You're telling me it's not as fun. That that leads to the guy, and we don't have the orbs for him yet, so I don't need to bother yet that way. Yeah, I was checking for the fly. I mean, we got all six. Might as well check, check to see where it is. Where we got it, six. We're almost to all seven. Are you up here? No. Wait. That's a thing. Does that have things inside it? I think I already... Yeah, because it was kind of jutting out a little bit. So, usually that's a sign that, that everything's connected. I tried, uh... I tried running, tacking him just to make sure it would run. Yeah. It doesn't control quite as well as I remembered it, so... Yeah, are you I'll, sure? I'll still probably give it a shot. Are you, are you sure that's not because of, uh, of the... The CPU intensive quantum process, like computing, like memory hog that is the PS2 emulator. No, I ran the GameCube version. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why is it that the GameCube has like better emulation capabilities? Nintendo consoles always had like better emulation capabilities than like Sony shit. I think it's just demand. Well, for the, the, size of the at least for in the GameCube's case, the there's just a really passionate team of uh, emulation scientists, emulation programmers, as opposed to a 64, they've been at it forever because that one is so obtuse to try and emulate. And then NES, and then Super six, NES, there's just been a demand for emulation forever. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to Misty Island while I think about where the fuck this sure. fly is. I don't know how PS1 emulation has come along. PS1 emulation's fine, depending on what you try to run. Which is kind of weird, because PS1 emulation, from what I've played of, like, PS1 games, it's been pretty good. And then you try yeah. PS2 emulation, and it's and it works if you're not like streaming shit. It's worked for me they, they when I'm not. Even, they wouldn't even do PS2 emulation on the PS3. Like the very first models they put out the gate of the PS3 were backwards compatible that's with not, PS2. That's not because the PS2 emulators they ran with it sucked. It was because they found a new way to like squeeze more money out of it. That's, yeah, that's part. I've of got it. six flies here too. Turn the muse. To, oh, we didn't revisit the sculpture. After catching the muse, it's just been on us this entire time. Oh, well, it's fine. We'll, we'll get it well, done. Let's get the other orbs that are here, and then we'll, uh, on our way back, we'll visit the sculptor in the in the village. Yeah, I'll make a note. Uh, the other thing I heard is that the PS2 actually spins its discs in the opposite direction of the PS3. Oh yeah, I heard about that. That was which made it difficult or impossible to. Read the discs. They, for the they PS3. did that to prevent like fucking pirates from like getting their PS the Sony's anti piracy stuff has been a lot of just attempts and failures. You know Or a lot of things that have created problems for unintentional audiences. Like you, uh always online DRM. The the streaming mess that was the PS3. The streaming is piracy if you really think about That's right, it. we can't let people see our game okay. footage for free. So what the fuck are these two? I'm sure uh, scout flies. Here I, I got the I got the Misty Island. Don't tell me there's an oracle on the in this place in this godforsaken place. Why would there be an oracle here? They Use the zoomer to reach the power cell. What? Do we have any 16-year-olds in chat? Z Zoomer, tell us how to get to the power cell. The prophecy tells us so. You're the chosen one! Use the blue eco to reach the power cell. Okay. We're looking at number five and six, right? 
Yeah, that's uh, that's five and six. Well, no. Uh, no. No, it's uh, four and five. Yeah. It's five and six, yeah. Five and six of eight. One, two, three, four. Okay, so destroy seven, the balloon lurkers and use the zoomer. Balloon lurkers? What are those again? We must, we must seek out the lurkers floating on balloons and find the legendary zoomer. Only he can show us the way. He's gonna tell us about Fortnite. Oh, hey, I see him. There's a, uh, one of the, a fairly well-known competitive player. Just, uh, just, they found a new technique for me, Brawler. Oh, yeah? And they called it the Fortnite Flash. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably just to piss people off. Yeah. That, that, that people can... Probably get clicks. <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel he ended, he ended the video by saying, Hey, you all better get in the lab too, because you better believe the next tech I find I'm gonna name after Steve from Minecraft. That's a way to get hang hated. Hey, did you ever watch that documentary video about Hungry Box? Uh no, I haven't. Apparently Is that the one that there will never ever be another player like Hungry Box? Yes. Yes, that's the one. He was the Who one after like 20 years basically broke melee with Jigglypuff. Yes, and for it like because everybody was using Fox, he's like, no, I'm gonna kick all your asses with Jigglypuff, and and he did, and then his, you know what his his after managing to win a, a big tournament and like and like prove everybody wrong, you know what his reward was? Step what? One, stay alive. Step two. Think about not doing something like that again. Th thank you, Dex. His reward. Was that somebody threw a dead crab at him on stage? <laughs> well, are you? I don't know if I heard about that. That no, I didn't know about that either because I'm not big into like watching the famous tournament scenes. I always just focus on how I do and how and just playing but other ba people. But uh, basically, the way Jigglypuff breaks the game is by being able to stall indefinitely. Which is not fun to watch. It's basically a big fuck you to everyone. I saw some of his playing. He, was, he didn't seem to be stalling. He was, like, kicking their asses pretty hard. I just died. There, oh, God. there were talks of uh, moves being, uh, being instated as well because of Jigglypuff specifically being able to plank on ledge indefinitely. Mm. Yeah, this is... It, there's a lot of reasons why people are like, you should play Melee again, and I'm like, no. Well, and it's a... It's kind of a blow to the Melee community, because suddenly the game isn't so perfect. It, it's proof of an imperfection. Yeah. And they, they were happy about that. They weren't happy about their... about their sacred cow being barbecued and uh, served to the community on, on some wooden plates with a side of ranch. I only watch Shrek Super Slam tournaments. Oh yeah, I know there's a competitive scene for Shrek game. Isn't like Red Riding Hood top tier? <laughs> Are you being ironic or? No, I'm not. I, it probably, I think it started ironically for sure, but it like most now of the has things in some level of a competitive scene. Like I like everything with fucking. I am just spinning my wheels. I don't like this stage. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna click. Destroy the blue lurk is where we're going. At the other end of the harbor. 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 Well, like, here? Oh, yeah, you... I assume that's the area with the Donkey Kong barrels and all the, like, wooden docks. Oh. I think you were going the right way for. We gotta go through the the arena that we were by. Alright, let's go. Oh, those are explosive. Yeah, I know. I hit them several times. No, wait, no, Jack. Okay, okay, good. I'm, I'm Jack flailing. Flailing to stay on solid ground. Are you talking about the play, the character, the game, or me? Yes. Good answer. That looks like 
good way to go. Yeah, I'm going. Have you seen any orbs, buddy? Can't Fuck wait you. for Turok 1 and 2 to come to PS4. Are, are they, they were on the N64 originally, weren't they? Oh man, I played uh, I played Game Boy Turok games. The side scroller ones. Yeah. Where you're Native American and you're fighting dinosaurs. That's what the that's that what the series is about. It's just you're you're a Native American dude. And you're fighting dinosaurs. My only experience with the series was uh, Turok Evolution, which my brother owned, and I wasn't a fan because I'm not a fan of shooters. So, so we're, we're at, at the, the arena. Side? There's another exit to the arena. I don't know if there's a way we can go up here or not. Here's the dark eco that uh, that our main Sir? character, that one of our main characters, fell in. Don't worry, Jack will get his turn. He's he's gonna. I'm gonna kill Baron Praxis. Damn right, Jack. Please don't die, Jack. Oh, that's a lot of the guys. It's okay, I beat him. Alright, so... I guess we're continuing this way. I guess so. Our goal is to get up high and get on the wooden things. I just, I don't remember how to get there exactly. I'm tempted to just go back, because I think we have enough. There's a bouncy thing to get up higher. Yeah, I, I remember this not being my favorite part of the game. This level in particular, the yeah. hilly areas with all the hostile oh, wildlife and the... There's a lot of bad dudes in this island. Yeah. Are you no, this isn't the way! How the fuck do we get up there? Where the fuck does this place even... Is it over there? Is this where we it... shoot the fucking... balloon guys? I can't shoot anything from here. It looks like if we continue going to the right, then we can, uh... The right. We'll eventually get there. You mean you mean where I was like, going before I made this detour? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. I feel like I feel like I'm about to fight some sharp tooth in a great valley. Is that a land before time reference? Yes. Oh, I I thought I was got for sure. <laughs> We start. Ouch. Okay, it's not too bad. I'm just gonna blow through, Jack. Blow through. Yeah, probably better not to fight them. Yeah. I know it goes against every fiber of your being. I just. Oh shit! I, I take. I took a wrong fucking turn. Yeah, it looked like you took a wrong turn in this part of the city. Oh, this isn't. You mean this isn't Albuquerque? I, I, I tried to do a, a high jump, and it just didn't fucking work. Why is... Why is Jack such an asshole? Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. This isn't the Yuri. Did it... Where did... Good, oh, okay. Alright. Oh, okay, this is we're where the I need the harbor. This is... Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so how do we take these guys out? Uh, I guess we can probably go That's up how we and find do that. Like a cannon or something. Uh, or that too. Are they all just are they all gonna pass the same area? Uh I try to find some shoot eco. Shoot eco. I want to shoot. We got six out of seven flies, and we didn't even, even come up to this part of the level. Did we not? I thought we did. I thought, I thought we didn't. I thought we just avoided it. Because we were like, eh, no, we're done here. We Wait. got we got enough. Oh, hey! It's the zoomer. So don't go there now. We'll go there for the next power cell. We gotta get the balloon guys first, though. 
They explode on contact. Where the fuck is the sh D Does the zoomer fly? Or is it just another I, one of I those don't know. speeder? I it goes across the water. We just have to go higher up on the planks and everything to get the guys. down here. Use your excellent double jump, Jack. Alright, now we wait. Oh, come on. That's not fair. You gotta be in harm's way. So I do. Maybe if you go to the top, the logs will stop? I have to disable the logs. I don't remember anything in this game being this demanding. Well, you did 100% it. I did. Well, you did, but you didn't do it in quite a while. All you know is that it wasn't worth it. Oh, now you can stop. Alright, let's see if we can find a way to shut down this machine. No. No. Or any way to get the guy. Hey, I see it. Cannon. Alright. Let's activate this cannon. I, I, I said. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Oh. That, well, that's not helpful. That is. That's just for shooting crates. We have to There's punch him. Logs. Either we use the zoomer or we punch him. Alright. Well, I'm gonna grab the crates. The, I'm gonna grab those eggs. I was waiting for you to fall in the dark eco. Well, you'll keep on waiting. There really is no punishment for death in this game. Not really, no. You just go back to the last checkpoint. Yeah, that's because... Oh, uh... What? Crash 4 apparently has a lives option. Oh. Where you can play traditionally with lives, or you can... There's like a, a modern mode where there's no lives, and it just keeps track of how many times you die. Oh. Oh, like, uh, like in... Okay. Other than that, I'm a little worried because a lot of the footage we've seen, the levels look very gimmicky. And I'm yeah. hoping there's some more traditional ones mixed in there. But That's the, what you didn't know. like about uh, Donkey Kong Country 3, was that you thought some of the levels were too gimmicky. Spyro 3, and Crash 3, but we'll see. So, are you going to the Zoomer, or are we just going back to I'm like, going to the Zoomer. Level? I'm going to the zoomer. The this fuck it, these fucking things just flying around seems to be a bit uh, demanding. Not, yeah. There's no reason. There's no fucking reason just for them to be. I hope this thing can fly. Maybe maybe that'll help. Oh, okay.
Oh. Oh. Okay then. Well, two two uh two birds with one stone. So we have to get the guys, and then there's some kind of route up there that we can take a sweet jump to get a power cell. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, that is the technical term. Sweet jump. That's how he's flying. That's why. Okay, I get it now. Well, let's uh, let's do some sweet Dukes of Hazard music. Uh, let's not. <laughs> The, it, oh man. Okay, so they had they would have to rename the General Lee, considering that uh, Confederate flags are considered taboo now. What would what would you replace the flag with, and what would you rename the General Lee to? Uh, the whole like <gasps> the whole bit with them. Oh, hey, yeah. great. The whole bit with that they were like proud southern boys and there's yeah. not really a way to do that at all tastefully. Okay, I get it. You you call you call you call the, the car the duck and you just and you just fill it you just cover it with a bunch of like pictures of ducks. Yeah. Duck because duck dynasty. Or you'd have to that that'd be the thing, you just have to rebrand them as like uh Red like happy go lucky rednecks. Happy right? go lucky rednecks. Yeah, just hill, just like so, just like cool hillbillies or something. Like the water tribe people from uh, from Avatar. That means we're kin. <laughs> She's just I like how Korra's response. <laughs> Not Korra, but uh, Katara. Katara's response to that was. Eh. <laughs> Wait, how do I jump again? There's no jump on. Oh, okay, it's it's R1. Don't you remember how much how much fun time we spent on the Zoomer part of the game in, in the special valley where we ran down dragons? Well, I mean, fuck it, we're here. You you convinced me to leave. You were like, you let me to leave, and that went and bit us in the ass. So I'm gonna stay here as well, long as Well, because everything it takes. everything there was hunting down like seven different things for one cell. As opposed to us hunting down seven, seven different things for one cell in other parts of the game. Wow. I mean, not every single goal was that, just the fly ones. There's no, there's no there's no fanfare when you take them out. It's just them going. Ugh. Oh, you coming down to swamp level? That's right. You come down here. Can't wait to get them two points. Oh man. Okay. Cop's name. I don't remember. Uh, Boss Hog. Yeah. Wait, does, does that mean that, that Boss Hog was like the, uh... <laughs> you see that robot chicken bit uh, with like that wacky racist type thing which it had involved the Duke boys and Boss Hog like, I'll get them Duke boys! He ends up killing them and then it's just him oh and his God. dog just looking down, just being all sad. Yes, I did. Yeah. He's coming down again. I feel like Kenny Loggins' music should be playing. Oh. Funk. Where is that? Well, there's orbs there, so I guess it's good to go there. Okay. That was easy. You know my favorite that was easy moment in, uh... We missed this whole entire section the first time we came through here, by the way. Because we were just done with the island. We didn't want to spend longer here. They've been threatening the waters around our village for weeks. Bring your zoomer back to the chance pad, and I'll teleport it back. There's not a quick lead, is there? We have to walk back to the boat. I have an idea. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna try to uh, I'm gonna try to to quit tele to quit return quick uh, quick save quick load teleport yeah yeah yes oh god the downside is that if this works I have to watch Dax scratch his ass every single time I want to pull this off. Because, you know, Dax is just that cool. So yeah. wacky. Ugh. Alright. Oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't show it to you. I posted it on Discord. I found out that, uh, didn't there work. was, uh, there was, like, a, a high-pitched, sung-by-kids Sonic Eurobeat song in the 90s. Oh, was there? Sung it's very strange. No shit, it sounds very strange. Well, I guess I'm heading back the hard way. Let's go. So there is a punishment for death. You never leave. There is no fast travel in Jack and Daxter. It's not realistic. Uh, 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 I thought of that too. You're too slow, you're too slow, you're too slow. God. Remember Sonic in Brawl? By Zellos. Remember when, uh, when I was playing... I was playing, like, Smash Brawl, and... Okay, I'm on the right side of it. Uh, I was playing Smash Brawl, and I would play Sonic. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah? And, and I would just, like, spam that... Find a, w a place to hide, and I would spam that taunt because I thought it was hilarious. Yeah. Because Sonic was just being fucking. He was, he, was, he was such a dick in that game. Apparently, enough people thought that that they felt the need to replace it with Sonic, Sonic Sp Speed! Sonic Speed! Sonic Speed! Where's the gotta go fast taunt? That only exists in 4Kids, and people say, uh, sometimes rightly say, fuck 4Kids. Where's my boat? I don't think this is the place it's at. You're right, it's that place. That's where the place is at. Oh, yeah, you're right. I know there was one One Piece game that used the 4Kids cast. I think it was on GameCube, it might have been like Grand Adventure or something. Oh, you get you get Lena in versus Amy. That's always a bonus. Hmm? In One Piece? Uh oh, not One Piece. Sorry, I thought you said <laughs> One. Nami Swan. I like I I I. <laughs> why they dumbass Sanji voice? God. What did Zoro sound like? I don't remember what Zoro. Said. No, he wasn't Zoro. He is Zolo. Look, sorry. My my apologies. What did Zolo sound like? I don't remember. Well, you're not doing the, anything. They, you should look it up. I think they were mostly uh, similar to the four kids cast in terms of how they portrayed the characters, which except makes for, sense because they were more Sanji? or less. Yeah, except for Sanji. Oh, we gotta we gotta return this the the the, the muse. Where, where where does he live? Oh, that's right. You live here. The sculptors in one of the houses. Yes. Yes, one of the houses. I'm asking. Look up. Look I, up. I don't know. Four kids solo. Just that, that Sanji voice with the crap cafe. <laughs> Hello, you've reached the crap cafe. <laughs> Sir. No. Are you the sculptor? No, you're the mayor. Back already? I'm without fixing the eagle beams. <laughs> but I did. The village needs you, boys. Wait, I didn't fix the eco beams. It just sounds like a generic, uh, not Chris Sabat deep, but uh, lower voiced guy. God. VV sounds soulless. Oh my god, that's... 
that is the real tragedy here, Soulless Vivi. But fucking Sanji just sounding sounding like he's just some fucking bumfuck yokel just really really gets to me. It was a very bizarre choice for Sanji. Hey, you shitty short you shitty swordsman. Is this his house? This is a sculptor. Oh, the muse! You saved her! Oh, you really are the best. Here, take this power cell. I won't need it now that I have my inspiration back. I got it. You replace the, uh, the, the flag on the General Lee with that of, like, the face of, uh, of, like, uh, Johnny Cash. And you call it, and you call it the, the Ring of Fire. Does anyone really drive around with a Johnny Cash face on their car, though? No. Does anybody Elvis, really? Maybe. Does anybody really drive around with a with a gigantic Confederate flag on their? Hood? Yes. <laughs> many, many people. Yes. Hey, Zillrug, remember when I showed you that picture of the fucking of the fucking One Piece car? Yeah. We yeah. drove past the One Piece car, didn't we? We yeah. passed it on the highway. Yeah. So, so, so let, let me tell you something. I, I can believe that somebody put, like, the face of Johnny Cash on their hood. And it's no less ridiculous than fucking a Confederate flag. Or even an American flag, for that matter. Yeah. Okay. So we still don't have enough for both of the... the statues' orbs. Yeah, we, we don't even have enough for one. I uh, guess no. We have one enough for one. They're 120 each. So I guess we can so go we to didn't the connect jungle. The, we didn't connect the eco beams. I could have sworn that's what we, we just did. Just stop part way. I guess. I guess we were like, no, fuck this, and we left. <laughs> okay, where's the jungle? Which way? Uh, continue along the beach. Okay. The way you're going. Yeah, that's where I was going. And then I was like, okay, we gotta find that another fly. Then we ended up going to Misty Jungle. And we ended up going to Misty Island instead. I could, ha I could handle being in the jungle. The jungle's pretty... is not bad, comparatively. I want to go back to that. It's a good thing I don't have to go back to that island again. Unless I have to. I might have to. I don't think we do. There's a... This is not a game that requires backtracking. Except when you fuck, hey Ta. Except when you fuck up. Evil Pooh Bear. Pooh, this is no use, Piglet. He bit me. Pull the trigger, Piglet. Be my mercy, Angel. <laughs> so there is. Uh, speaking of uh, Winnie the Pooh, uh, you remember VR Chat? Yeah. Uh, so. Apparently this guy... Excuse me, sir. Oh, that's the fisherman. Yeah, we did his minigame. Yeah, he's gonna keep laughing till the end of time. So there's, uh, there are these guys, uh, who decide to do, like, kind of, uh, like, interviews with, uh, random people on VR chat, and, and they talk about, like, really serious... The topics are usually, like, really serious, like, like happenings in their lives like there's one person who said that he uh he worked for like a private military contractor and he was like doing a tell all about it in person uh, PMCs. and and stuff like that just like uh topics like like serious topics like that just giving him the voice and the person who usually does the interviews is a dude who's like dressed who's like got the avatar of winnie the pooh yeah. And did he talk like Winnie the Pooh? Um, kind of. Not like he was trying to. It's just that Not his voice. It's just that his voice was just kind of like cuddly, naturally cuddly, and uh, and so the I guess the avatar just fit. Okay. Well, um. Oh, I think. Finish this. I think the final fly was visible from where we're at. I see it. 
How do we get to it? One? Yeah, that's the final one. We're at six. How do we get to it? Just jump over. I'm gonna have to circle around. I might need to use the blue eco. Probably. But yeah, the dude who was uh, who was like the private military contractor, his avatar was a penguin. He was like saying, he was "Oh, he's like, from that. Uh, the, he's from that penguin PTSD anime." Wait, what? Penguin? You haven't seen that? Uh. No. There was a, Tell me about there the There was like a, an animation that was going around that people were calling like uh, the serious C Club Penguin anime because it looks exactly <laughs> like Club Penguin, but it's not. It has nothing to do with it. It's just an extremely similar style, and it's just like uh, it's a war movie about it's a movie about a penguin who comes back from war to his family and has PTSD. This it is, is a... extremely bizarre. No shit. I, 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 can't, I, can I cannot it. believe they ripped off uh, the YouTube channel I was talking about. Penguin's Memory. Shiawase Monogatari. Never heard of him. 1985. Oh. Well, then that's just a coincidence then. Five percent liked this movie, according to Google. Oh, so it's a, so it's a good movie. It's just very serious. Oh, specifically, it's the Vietnam War. Oh, Tag, tagged as animation romance. I can fix you, penguin guy. I can help you forget the war. I'm not going inside uh, the thing, I'm just gonna go around it. Okay, well, I can't go around. Okay, I think, I think I understand. I think that's a full movie on YouTube. Oh. Hey, you wanna depress ourselves by watching it? I, I don't know how bad it gets. Like, how, not like bad as in it's gonna be terrible, but bad as in we're gonna see like a penguin cutting off another penguin's ears and wearing him as a necklace. Saying, I had to kiss ass in order to end this fucking war. You got the last bug. Uh, yeah, now I need to connect the eco beams. Here, it's on YMDB. Returning from the Delta War, Mike Davis is left traumatized and adrift in life. Mike, Mike Davis is the penguin, right? I assume so. Okay. Leaving his hometown, he eventually winds up in Lake City and takes a quiet job in the local library. Okay. He meets Jill, a young woman with dreams of being a professional singer. Young woman, penguin. Yeah. Are there are there any characters that aren't penguins in uh, in this movie? As she falls in love with him, she tries to break through the wall of sadness Mike has built around himself. Yeah, I figured that that was how the plot is going to go because it's like you build it as a romance. It's like oh. Or maybe he's chasing another girl. I don't know how. Why well, he's like pr traumatized from being in like in combat. I'm sure and he doesn't like. He doesn't want to let people get close. Yeah, because how I imagine it playing out. Probably. It looks like it's all penguins skimming the YouTube video. Okay, all penguins. It's not like. Uh, it's not like what was what was the fucking uh, comic uh, Mau mouse? Yeah, there's a comic I read called Mouse. And, uh, and it was like, uh, yeah, you've heard of it. Yeah, that that was the one where, uh, where like, uh, it was like the from the perspective of like a World War II, like, uh, survive Jewish survivor of like, it, uh, like World War II in Poland. Yeah. And uh, and he was and and uh, the Jewish were rats, the Germans were cats. And the Polish were pigs. I don't know what the Americans were. Probably eagles or something. 
But yeah, that was. You want, you want to talk about some depressing reading material? You you read mouse. That'll ruin your. Okay, are we done? The mayor's just been walking around his house. I, were we doing this for him or something else? Yeah, he's I don't like, why the fuck are the eco things not connected? We we're losing power. And and I'm like, oh, whoops. But we should go tell that windbag of the mayor that he owes us big time for connecting the village energy beam. Oh, I should look up what the other two. Uh, what what orbs are we still missing in the jungle? Uh, we are missing. Uh, oh, this is village. Give me a second. I'm I'm out of bounds of the of Sundover. <laughs> Follow the canyon to the sea. Might have gotten that one already. Let me let me check. Let me go back to the village. I mean, not not village. Let me go back to the. Uh, uh so last two. Six Follow the seven. canyon to the sea, and open the locked temple door. What? Wait, I thought we did... Okay. On the back side of the actual temple entrance is the locked temple door that only opens if you're loaded up with blue eco. Alright, and and there's a cliff, you said? Oh, the canyon to the sea, it says. Okay. The canyon, so the down canyon here. where the fisherman is and follow the canyon. Oh. Where the fisherman is. Okay, give me a sec. I'll just follow the laughter. <laughs> oh, man. Speaking, of, on that one. speaking of uh, follow the laughter, um, there was a, a, a Japanese commercial that stuck out. It was like for some Final Fantasy game, and it was just uh, uh, a chocobo or some creature like that running on a beach, and and some dude was laughing in the background. Yeah. Yeah. That was the whole commercial. Yeah. Anyway, so follow, follow the canyon. Punch fish. I punch fish. Oh, okay. They can spin fish as well. Let's get out of the fucking water. Uh... Okay, so been here before. Okay, so this is how we could get out, but we're not we're still following the Oh, okay. No. That was one of the easier uh Oh there's extra orbs here too. Yeah, I'm going for it. We have enough to get one of those uh, orbs from uh, the village. Every time he fucking just decides he's gonna shake his ass. There's no reason for it. We gotta appeal to the furries, man. Let, let him have this. Okay, fine. I know, I know you're looking at me and you're wondering why I'm shaking my rear end. And I have to say, I gotta sell the game! Well, we have to sell movies. It's, it's great. It's, it's like, dude, Tommy, why are you showing your ass? Why, why is the section you gotta show your ass? His, his response is, I have to sell the movie. <laughs> On the backside of the actual temple entrance, speaking of backsides. Uh, this, is, this must be what he's talking about. No, this is the right side, or left side. So, uh, let's maneuver a little bit. Yeah, that's the front side. 
Well, does that mean... Hold on. That doesn't necessarily mean the backside of the temple. Okay. Let's check it out. On the backside of the temple entrance. So maybe we go into the entrance and there's like a room in there and it's on the backside of the room. Okay, in that case, I think I know what I need to do. Well, let's confirm before we go get that eco. Well... I guess, okay, it's a short trip. Also, this will increase our speed, so... Well, let's try that again. Hey, uh, Jack, you ever think maybe you take too much speed? I'm not saying anything because Jack can't talk. Remember? Zellrog and Silent Jack. I could be silent for the rest of this game to really sell that. Ah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> the reason... Oh, we need to go around that ledge there? Well, it doesn't seem to be anything in here, so maybe it is the back side of the actual temple, of the whole temple. Yeah. Yeah, because this, this, that leads to the last, uh, fly. Unless... Hold on, I'm gonna check something out. Get, get down here. goes in the canyon, shoot yourself up from the jump platform and run to the temple door afterwards. But well, if they're saying that's possible, then it must be... You must be able to get to it from this main entrance. Yeah, I don't know what they're talking about. Or you enter the temple, load up with the blue eco in there, and then just jump out of the temple on mid-height towards the temple door. I don't know where the door they're talking about is. How about I just go back to the to the village? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So let's go let's just go back to the village. We're we're done here. So we gotta talk to the mayor yeah. for one more. Talk to the mayor. Uh get one There's of the one fucking more statue. fly in the village if we wanna find that. Yeah, wherever the fly we is. Have, we might we as well. Then we can get the statue ones. At least I remember now that the the, the flies are in very big, obviously bot like jumping red crates. Yeah. I have to sell the movie. <laughs> what a dumb fucking. What a bug. <laughs> I can see that it's a water bottle, Tommy. Why do you have a water bottle? I need to be angry! I need to show that I'm angry! <laughs> uh, he, that was his... Roll. That was his line... My favorite part, that was his line, right? And, uh... And he spent so fucking long trying to get that take right, despite yeah. the fact that... It, it was only, like, less than 20 words long? Yes. Which kind of makes me wonder, why was he having... Was he just happening to have so much trouble that day, or...? He was just... I think he's just terrible at acting, remembering his lines. Yeah. He's made other movies since then. That are reportedly not great, either. No. Because he's the, the only... Tommy... From what I heard about Best Friends is that Tommy works just because the character he's playing is himself, which is the only character he knows how to play. Yeah. He's a, he, then, he's a typecast as... Although, you know, considering how like he is, you could theoretically write a role for him and then cast him. Well, that's what he did. Yeah. And then nothing else about the movie is, is really noteworthy, as I heard. Oh, that's disappointing. I'd rather have, like, I'd rather have... Me personally, I'd rather have made a either a really good movie or a really bad movie rather than a boring movie. Wait, hold on. 
was the mayor below? Sorry, I got I got sidetracked. I was looking for that last uh, fucking fly. Oh, this is Kira. Oh no, she's not here. This was her her workshop. So we gotta follow the laser to the mayor's house. Is Kira the love interest, or is she just so yeah. is she just a? Uh... Because right now this game, they they don't really feel all that. Uh... She isn't like, oh, Jack, you, you're my friend or anything. And she just is like, kind of... It's not, a, it's not exceptionally story-driven. Wait till the second game when there's a plot and like the, 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 the vague, almost apocalypse dystopia is like, put everyone under pressure. Then you see the real characters. Oh, what a wonderful sight. I thank you. Me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you've earned a power cell. My boy! This piece is what all true warriors strive for. But wait. This game takes place in the future. Eh? Does it? I... It does it take place in the past? We'll get to it. I don't... I don't know. That's the mystery, Jack. The pr the, pr the precursor's mystery. Clearly. Let's go... Let's go back to... Let's go grab the fucking... We can look for the fly, or we can just go back to the world... Two areas. How, how many do we have? We have six. Now, how many? Uh, oh. How many ore power cells? We got, we got forty-seven. Oh, then we have enough to move on. We needed forty-five. Wait. I see the fly. Oh well, there's one more, and then there's one another more when we get the one from the statue. How the fuck do we get over there? I guess we just gotta like do long jumps, right? Long jumps will work. Hopefully. Hey, uh, Jack, how come you can't do a wall jump? It's just in video games, Daxter, that doesn't exist. Is what Jack would say if he could, you know, talk. He just has to settle for thinking it. No, maybe I'll do a double jump and a spin. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I could do that. Nice to see that that's what his, uh, what his, how his Smash recovery would be if he was, you know, in Smash. What's the point of having a, having a long jump if a double jump goes further? I don't know, maybe it's like a combat option. I guess, it's a dive but, attack. That would be his dash attack, the, the, the dodge, the long jump roll. Yeah. Hey, we got all 50. Huzzah! Now just do this for every level in the game and you get all the orbs. He did it. He T-posed again. It's just his, his sick moves. This must be a precursor. Hello, Grant like Fisher. The always goes on about. I hope they weren't as ugly in person. Who awakens the Oracle? Wait, one of you has the light within. Okay. From before time. I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. For Are we sure we're not helping Dr. Claw? Power cell is yours. Ne next time, Gadget. Next time. Alright, let's get, let's get the fuck back. Back to uh, our current level. We gotta go fight the big we evil just blue guys. We throwing rocks. <laughs> throwing rocks. <laughs> or like like a princess throwing turnips. Oh, did I win? By the way, you know what? You know if you wanted to be a real asshole, you could study how Pac-Man plays. I've seen some crazy fuck off like strategies with with them involving. With Involving the fruit and just 
using the water to push yourself to like pushing the fruit, like 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 fucking throwing curveballs and shit. It's it's crazy. So we're going to we're looking for Samos's hut to warp again. Yeah. Sorry, I'm I got distracted. So, okay, so the last one, we need to bring the, we, this is the oracle, so. So all these are accounted for. I don't know what the fuck is up with that fucking, uh, jungle. Not jungle. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I don't know what's up with that, uh, temple. The back door. Yeah, that back door. But now well, we, we heard don't. Bowser had a back door, but we didn't want to go anywhere near that. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm reminded of some, uh, some really bad uh, Newgrounds Flash animations. Yeah. Thing. Was it? It was uh, a dude who was originally known as a uh, drunk Magic Koopa. And, uh, and his stuff was like, it was like, they were like shit posts. They, his, New grounds poops. Well, they were actual like flash animations. Well, some of them, some of them, they were just like random shit. Like, uh, like, what was it? The Poro Music Hour, the, uh. Bob Doyle experience. Uh, the one that stuck out to me, you can look this up if you want to, because I'm not going to talk very much about it, was, a, was one called Angry Man Antics. And it got featured on the front page at the time. And its description for it on the front page was, Angry Man steals a dildo from Testor. Haha, he said te instead of the. Yeah. I don't know, it was... We're going up the cliff to fight the guy. We gotta find a way, like, up a cliff. Thanks to the right of the hut. The fuck is that in the sky? A fire? Looks like, looks like a, looks like a beach thing. Give me, give me your hand in, in life. Give me your hand in depression. Oh, we should probably return that thing to... Oh no, we did, already did it. We're talking about the news. We're looking for a big, uh, big cannon. Yeah. That we activate to blow up the flaming rock. Is it here? No, it's not here. the past future. Okay. Uh. Where? I, mean, I told you where I thought it was, and then you went the opposite direction. Oh. No, I, I see. It's here. I got it. Great. You have hey, the Kira. The machine. They ought to provide enough power to lift that boulder. There we go. Now be careful facing that monster lurker at the top. Wait. Uh, I'll stay here and protect Kira. Jack, I think you're ready <laughs> to handle fuck? that monster without me. Wiggle. Oh, really eyebrow. heroic of you. Okay, fine. He says. He has two booty, though. <laughs> and uh, how old is uh, is she again? I don't know. But I think she's seventeen or eighteen in Jack Two, so currently younger than that. Well, then you better watch what you say, or else the FBI will get you. 
I guess they can just hover the rock, and they can't, like, move it out of the way completely. Yeah, that it's a, it's a machine that does fuck all. Okay, so... So we gotta fight this guy, huh? Have we ever fought a boss before? Yeah, we have. We fought the plant. point of that platform being there then. Oh, I see. Oh, I, I really see. Oh, I get it now. Vaguely reminiscent of a, of a crash boss. A I completely death. understand. Alright. So, can you remind me who this guy is again? Just a big bad dude who threw rocks at Hercules, and that's all we got about him. He's I, just... I guess he's one of the lurkers who's working for two evil mage people. Yeah, I don't know why they're working for them. If your name is not Baron Praxis. I don't give a fuck about you. His name is not as uh, not as story involved as later ones. Okay, Lava's an instant kill. Got it. Oh, it's still an instant kill, got it. Just had to be sure. Scientific method is all about replicating results. He does I don't know if he's if he tracks me or what. Probably three hits then. Crash bosses so far are harder. I barely even remembered the first one. And the crash. The game itself is notoriously difficult, but Crash is not known for hard bosses. Damn it. This is a very treacherous boss fight, though, just because the lava's everywhere. Yeah, yeah, the lava being an instant kill really makes this a bit, uh,. This, this area a bit unsafe. I'll get this. The the it knocked me off course. The blue getting the blue one. Animation. Yeah. Well, platforming is perfect, Jack, so obviously it's your fault. At the very least, I like that they're implementing the, uh, the eco. But why use eco when, when you can use guns? Because... 
Why would you want to do a homing attack? You can use, like, guns. chaos control when you can use guns. <laughs> Man. I'm glad we got the best ending of the best of, like, the optional endings of Shadow the Hedgehog. Where he just decides he's just gonna live on Ark. This is my house now. Yeah. Get out! Get out, Robotnik. I live here. Oh my god. It's, it's basically a one-hit kill. Even just entering the arena is treacherous. Yeah. It's a fairly tight jump. Jack, we need you to go into the lava fields and, and defeat the Slurker. Ah, uh, Jack's been gone an awful long time. What, what did you say was a little bit lava field? Lava? Well, why did you think that Jack could handle it? Oh, he's a big boy. You realize that lava, lava is like uh, highly toxic, right? Is that fumes? Oh, I'm sure he'll be fine. Kira, you're not a geologist. I, I once I, 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 I once met a geologist uh, recently, and I, I asked uh, I asked her, "Hey, what do, what do you think of the of geology?" And uh, and she said, "Well, it's all right." Now, Zelrog, I, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, you could have gone for the obvious. Uh, it rocks. Uh, fun, but I decided not to. Oh, that—that that was supposed to be a joke. Yeah, I was like, my my question was going to be, then why did you become a geologist? I do know that she liked to get stoned, though. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like Sanji uh, levels of oh god oh I gotta I gotta oh no Sanji levels of oh god. okay I thought I was gonna have oh, to run okay. again <laughs> was that three hits or was only two that was three hits huh. that was three hits hey Jack you survived you, you think I wouldn't. Unlike you, who's breathing an enormous amount of fumes. Be careful. It looks like the lurkers have rigged the whole pass with explosives. No, it's it's when fine, cause uh cause sure Jack can he can hold his breath for a long time. Daxter is immune to that though. Simply because he's uh wait what? Oh, we still have a we still have a bike section to get to the next area, oh, even right. after the boss. Those markers must be headed for a detonator at the end of the canyon. Oh, I should if probably. If they reach it before you do, they'll blow up the entire pass. You oh, wait. gotta it's be a race. there and destroy the detonator, or it's all over. All over. Jack, Jack, is it happening again, Jack? Or it's all over. All over. All over. Holy shit, though. You know what, uh, you know what some voices that I forgot about when we did AI Dungeon that we gotta do next time? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, Venture Brothers. It's, it, we, it's been so long since it was showing new episodes, we forgot about the show. And the Mighty Monarch! Who is actually the Venture Brothers is, uh... Spoilers now. Spoilers? This, the, that season, it's been like, how many years now? I, I don't know. Since that people, season? A lot of people don't and always watch something within, like, 
immediately. We, sh we sure as fuck didn't. Well, I made it this time. Now, can we kill these guys? No. But fortunately... Proto Jack X. Ah, oh. Deja vu. I have been in this place before. Oh man. So somebody did a did an edit of the pod racing scene from episode one. Yeah. So it was uh, just the, all the pod racing parts, none of the uh not none of the well, you know the like one liners. The one liners or the or the crowd shots. It was just an uncut like uh, stream of footage of uh of the just the pod racing the on field stuff and uh and it was and it was set to uh to the to the initial d song gas 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 yeah i'm not gonna make it this time what why, why can't we just have a normal run in in a field why nice leisurely ride through a canyon it's always got to be a bomb threat or, a, or, a, or an overheat mechanic. Something dumb like that. Something dire. This, this... Can, like, the, the, the path between World 3 and 4 be, like, a leisurely cruise with Kira? That'd be nice. No. So, that turn, I gotta, I gotta turn hard left. Got it. I got and I got caught in the geometry. I get it. Wasn't even going for anything that time. I was just All right, let's try it again. We know we need seventy two total for the game. So if we're already at this point, we can't be that demanding for the remainder. I really hope I don't. It's not requiring me to hit the fucking boosts. That would that would blow. Like the movie go? Yeah, that, that's what I mean by that. Oh, I, I guess I keep it. I, I can keep it as long as I don't hit anything. Watch the left turn. I I, I turn too far left. Too far left. Brother and I would play. My brother and I would play. Uh, would play uh, Burnout, uh, Burnout Three, uh, Takedown, and uh, we would make a joke that because the boost just fills up so rapidly in that game, Jesus fucking Christ, uh, that boost would fill up so rapidly. We were joking that like we had like a family of hillbillies on the back just pour just like making moonshine and pouring it into the engine. This is a canyon canyon. There's lots of holes to fall in. Yeah. Have you played uh, Revenge? Uh, yeah. Which which do you think is the is the better burnout? Game? I haven't played that much of Revenge, so I can't really give a fair and balanced. Why are there fucking pitfalls here? Can't make it too easy for you. you really and of course, they can fly. I mean, we can fly, but they can fly, fly. Oh my god. Is that it? No, don't hit death. Dude, don't hit... Don't hit anything. At least they seem, like, pretty slow. So... Everything seems pretty slow. We could probably be... We could probably afford to be, but, uh, like, a little more careful. Not worry about the time as much. Yeah. I want to... I want them to eat my dust. 
Unlike Speed Racer, when he told that his opponent needs, uh, needs, uh, to win the match, otherwise his sister's gonna die. That actually happened. Yeah. My god. You're fine, you're fine. What is it, Trixie? You got time to get stuck and keep going. What is it, Trixie? I'm in the middle of a race. Speed! Speed! His brother needs to win, you gotta let him win! He's like, no, I can't, I can't do that. He speeds up. I also remember... Hold on. Make yourself. Yeah, give me a second. <sighs> Don't mind us. The mic was off for that, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Don't worry, it wasn't that. My mom was just uh, uh, saying that her new job, she got it signed, so. Alright, let's keep going. God. I want to hit that. Hello, Sandy. Hey, Sandy. Yeah, we did it. Would be one for each color of eco, but I guess there's not. Uh -oh. Like we're on our oh, way no. to the last. I hate that. I hate that fucking like. We're on our way to the last hub world. Well, that makes more sense with the uh, with the power cell count. Jack, you gonna give me a heart attack, Jack? Why is this so difficult? I'm sure I'm probably making it harder on myself. Hey somehow. Sandy, are you familiar with the Penguin's Memory? The Penguin Anime War Movie? Yes, it exists. bike race area is called Lava 2, which just sounds like it's going to have the, the overheating mechanic again. I, I almost... You want to get Parsec loaded so you can take a crack at this? Ah. No, that was good. I'll, I'll take care of this in some way or another. I did download it. I want to... Maybe tomorrow we can take a, a little time to try to confirm that it's working. But, uh, we're we... not planning. We're not planning to stream tomorrow. But uh, if it is Good working, point. then we can resume. Uh, we can do Pokemon. The Pokemon project. We can even play some other like multiplayer games. Yeah, depending on how well it runs, how expensive they are. Play some. Uh... <laughs> No, 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 mm. I feel like every time I fall, the fucking whoop, 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 soundtrack should play. Or sound yeah, don't play. worry about speed too much. Go, go slower and take your time if you need to. Really? They're not threats. Okay, I can't that. Gas, 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 I gotta step on the gas tonight. Oh, and be a hero. Yeah, I got yeah, the... yeah, I'd be so quick and so fast, and I'll be your hero. Have you heard of the, the Super Gianna Sisters? Super Gianna Sisters? No, is that like Mario, except British, or Brazilian? 
it was a uh, it was a really blatant Mario knockoff from 1987. Oh, okay. For what was the system? Commodore 64. Commodore 64 Mario. That doesn't inspire me with a lot of confidence because Commodore 64 wasn't the smoothest game console to ever exist. It was a blatant ripoff. Like there were blatant ripoffs. I mean, we all knew that. Yeah. Uh -oh. But here's the here's the interesting story with the Gianna sisters. Yeah. They went on to have more games that were not Mario. It became a franchise from what was essentially a Mario bootleg ROM hack. Well, cool. They uh, they did it. They they turned they cleaned their image up and they turned legit. And I guess they've just been uh, they've been progressively more different since the first game. Like a like Smash characters being decloned. Hey, by the way, I made it. Huzzah! It actually wasn't bad. Uh, which one are you talking about? The original Sandy? Because there have been like uh, three games since, and the latest two are on Steam. I actually got the most recent one on Steam. Oh, cool. I haven't looked at it or tried it yet. Well, that sounds like a stream waiting to happen. Alright, we're in the volcanic crater. So this looks like the red eco area. Fuck yellow eco, right? It doesn't need an area. It doesn't need a mage. Well, I mean, no. Hello? Oh. Hey. Gotta hit the big shiny button. Holy yakow! The red sage's lab looks worse than the blues. Well, it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly not. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gull? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, Gull. I told you the dark eco would affect you both. Mm, nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the blue and red sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends, you old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You are wrong, Samos. Dark Eagle can be controlled. We've learned its secrets. <laughs> and now we can Your reshape voice. the world yeah. to our liking. You can't control Darkiko by itself. Even the precursors. Until now, we've too. had to scrape by with what little Darkiko we could find near the surface. Bitch, did but you just interrupt him? We'll have access to the vast <laughs> stores of Dark Eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos. Yes, the silos. Okay. And you'll be opened, and all the Dark Eco of the world will be ours. But that's impossible. Only a precursor robot. Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> this silly crash music playing under this dramatic cutscene. This quote unquote minute. dramatic. That was Gull? Yeah. The same Gull who's supposed to change me back? Gull is the guy trying to kill us? I'm doomed. We may all be doomed. If they open Why are the his sandals so the big? The Dark will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your zoomer seat shield should get you across the lava safely. How many All more? Right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. <laughs> It's a weird contrast of styles where it's kind of, it's trying to kind of sort of be realistic and involve humans but it's also super cartoony. Great balls of eco. There seems to be a large liquor presence in the spider caves. Liquor. Great. 
Sounds like a real flicker, you say? Let me guess. There are spiders in the spider caves, right? Of course there are spiders in spider caves. But that's the least of your problems. The lurkers are after crystals of concentrated dark eco. Okay, workers. You've got to destroy the crystals before those monsters get their hands on them. Up to it. Please. Oh my. Please and thank you. Dick. Hey guys, keep collecting power cells. They're the key to continuing our journey north. Thanks, good how, advice. How, how many do we need? You're, you're not gonna tell us? Okay. Uh, the, the guy, we checked the guides and the guide said 72, so I'm guessing that's how many we'll need. 60, so, so, so 20, so 21. We're, we're gonna need to backtrack into the previous world at some point, but Maybe. we're here now, so. Alright, we're going to Spider Cave. This is in Spider Cave. Who the fuck are you two clowns? Let's see, there are two... I think we oh. got visitors. You think, Willard? Howdy, strangers. Uh, passing through? Uh, us two. Well, we gotta be moving on. Nothing I see here. Duh, I thought you said this was a priceless gem worth Willard! Actually, we want power cell, not gem. We got four of them. Do you want them? What Birdbrain here is trying to say is, we may have a few power cells laying around, and we might be willing to part with them for 90 orbs each. Where have I heard that before? 90? Hey, how do you two geniuses That's not bad. to get that big gem out of here anyway? Well, smarty pants, we got 12 more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy. Wouldn't it take less time if you don't too? What do we got? Today's your lucky day. Oh, all right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs here. All right, 20 Maybe left. Maybe we should have saved him from the oracle. That's fine. I mean... This... Oh, hello, Mr. Bug. So, there are two levels in this area. There's the Spider Caves and uh, Snowy Mountain. Oh, God. And let me guess. Both of them have eight or eight uh, power cells each. Uh, I don't know. Probably. Volcanic Crater has eight. Four of which are just those guys. Snowy Mountain has eight. Well, it's a good thing we did an episode of backtracking today, so we don't have to do another episode of backtracking tomorrow, or next time we do this, but we're gonna have to do another episode of backtrack. Oh, hey, look, it's an oracle. Yes, they both have eight. Could he actually have... What? So if we got almost all of them, we would have enough to progress, or we could just do some more World 2 levels. Hold on. I'm on. Honestly, we should probably just do the levels here, and uh, at, at least we know we can get more... We can get one more from the Oracle yeah, we'll figure. in the previous area. So that's one less we have to worry about. Oh! oh. Well, this is the way back, isn't it? Oh, yeah, you're right. Whoops. I would like to... I, I, I would like to... I, I would... Is it gonna require you to die? No. Oh, good. I'm free. So lava doesn't like burn like and, and create noxious fumes and instead releases something just heat it's just heat it's so hot that it just uh, it's just hot Yep Well it's not lava it's liquid red eco 
Yeah, you know what? I wonder if this game was going to have another area for the Yellow Eco, or if that was like a uh, cut for development time. Could be. This gondola seems to be malfunctioning. Uh. Oh, that's S. Well, that gondola leads to the snowy mountain level. So, I guess we're gonna have to. Do we have to activate that in the spider cave somehow? Did she mention? Uh, she just said it's malfunctioning. That that is all I got. Jack and Baxter gondola. Wait, why do I need to ride those things? I can just... That didn't happen. The gondola will only be active after teleporting Kira and Samos into the hut and then collecting two orbs, or two cells. That's very arbitrary. So I need cell number one... Okay, I get, I get why I can't. Goku! Just... Okay, I understand now. So we got one via those guys. So if we get one more cell, we would be able to go to the go to the gondola. What other ones are in the volcanic crater? Miners. There's an oracle. Hidden power cell and seven scout flies. Hidden power cell? Mm -hmm. Use one of the lorries and drive to the entrance to the spider cave, which is where you're going. Turn around and jump off the lorry, turn around and look up. Oh, okay. So that was the entrance to the spider cave you just passed, I think. You have to no, that's the lava tube. Oh. Oh, there's another uh, button. Double jump didn't fire off. Trouble with the trolley, eh? <laughs> So we're getting a new Crash game. I wonder if uh, I wonder if the Spyro trilogy was successful enough to merit a new Spyro game. Hmm. But that's Skylanders now. I was just off on the Insane Isles fighting my evil nemesis, Dr. Neo Cortex. When suddenly I wound up here. Is that the plot? for the new Crash? That, no, that was what Crash sounded like in Skylanders in the episode or two that he, came, he appeared in. He was just totally normal and had an Australian accent. I mean, I always pictured Crash with an Australian accent. I pictured him not talking because he doesn't talk. Whoa. Hey, uh, Jack! I'm getting dizzy! So here we are. This is Spider Cave. Who's giving us these bugs? I think this is a Spider Cave bug. No, it's not. No, we're not in the... So, go go over the where the eggs are. Turn around and look up. Is that what I'm looking at? Yes. So okay. that box has a power cell in it, and apparently it's the one that everyone misses. And the way you get it is that in the spider caves there is a blue eco, or maybe it's a yellow eco tunnel. Or a, 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 you're gonna have to get it and run all the way out here and get to that crate in time. Okay, let's see if we can do that. 
Let me guess, are there spiders in the spider cave? No, it's just a misnomer. Of course there are spiders in the spider cave! Okay, jeez, old man, you didn't have to snap. Why are you so mean all the time? You need a chill pill, buddy. I hate this area first, already. You first have to open the yellow eco vent in Snowy Mountain. Well, at least it's right at the entrance. So if we if we wanted to do that, we could just come back to it later. All right, we got it. Let's 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 do the spider cave stuff for now. All right. I just hate it when things that touch you and they don't look like they would automatically hurt you or hurt you. A platforming game, but you're the one who feels contact damage. Yeah, take that, enemies. I guess that's Sonic, but only when you're jumping. Yeah. Except for, like, later games where it's apparently also when you're not jumping. That's what, that's what hitting down is for. Oh, I tried, uh... I tried Sonic Rush on the DS. Yeah? And it uses both screens. Oh, and it's yeah. it's super jarring to try to keep track of. Yeah, because you gotta because it, rub the bottom It's, it's the level, it's the whole level is showing on both screens at once. Yeah. I think back when, uh, back when the DS was showing off tech demos, that was, like, one of them where you, like, rub the, uh, bottom screen to make the, make Sonic go faster or something. Oh. Also, uh, Blaze the Cat is in it. And, yeah. uh, oh, and instead wait. of a spin dash, what she get? She has a, she has a fire tornado at, like, full standing height. Ooh. So, it's super weird to press down B and you're just a tornado at standing height. Wait. Instead of a spin dash. So, so Wave is alive. Blaze, the cat. Yeah, Blaze, sorry. What did I say? Wave? Yeah, the Swallow. Yeah. She's, she's different. Rule 34 page. Yeah. Sometimes they even draw her atomically correct. As, as like a bird. Yeah. Somebody once made like a joke post where it was just a rear view of, uh, of her, right? And, uh... And, and then she, heard, she was basically like, like, wh what are you guys looking for? Come on. What was the, what was the boxer hockey Sonic game? Sonic's Emeralds or something? Featuring Nipples, the enchilada, and Rouge, the girl bat or something, and she just had an actual bat face. No one can control Dark Eco. Yeah, well we can. Do you think that was on it? Do you think that being on his resume influenced him being hired for Sonic comics? I just took fall damage. Uh, it seems so. The fuck? Is that their way of? Tr well, no, it can't be a way of trying to prevent you from having to climb up again because it starts you all the way down here. Why did the game just? Is there just fall damage? Like, it's instant death if the height is high enough? Oh, man. Alright, let's try going this way. Oh, at least uh, it seems to be like a free, like, flip, like, a uh, level, like, a, a kind of level where you can just kind of go where you want to. Yeah. I probably mentioned this, uh, Crash Twin Sanity was very similar to this game, in that, uh, they just completely changed the formula, as opposed to the workroom, the level-based everything. Uh. And it was just open world, gems were just lying around for you to find. And it just, you just kind of went from one area to another without uh, without interruption 
It's a very strange new thing. It is a very new strange type of game for Crash. Yeah, what the hell? Why am I taking fall damage going, coming down here? I guess it's just... I've never taken fall damage in this game until now. It's just such forgiving fall damage that it needs that much height to activate. Which begs the question of why have it at all if you don't even know it's there until the final levels of the game. Because cause the game's got to be realistic. You can take some fall damage, it's not all fall damage. You know how forgiving... You know what is a forgiving amount of fall damage? What? Legend of Zelda's fall damage, because it's always, like, just... Like, half a heart. Yeah. Or even just one heart on that. Worst. Fell down, uh... Fell down the final... Chandelier in Wind Waker only took a quarter of a heart. I mean, that wasn't much of a consolation considering at the time I was like on a half a heart. Yeah. Or like a quarter of a heart. Is that like, uh. I, I, what, what are people Link, complaining about? Link, we need you to infiltrate this country, but we, do, we, we, can't, we, can't, we can't, like, spare you any parachutes because you might, you might be, like, uh, captured and that you uh, spotted and captured on a parachute. That's okay, sir. I know what I must do. He just takes the damage, just lands on his feet, goes, eh, 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 but he takes like a quarter heart of damage. And he's like, yep, I'm in. Didn't people complain about the fall damage inside some of the Call of Duty games? Call of Duty fall damage? Or was there a lack of fall damage in Call of Duty? Uh, considering Call of Duty is mostly like a horizontal. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I am... Oh my god. I just am... Use your goggles to shoot the gnawing lurkers. So those are the centipedes. I oh, think I you have get... to... For killing all the centipedes, you get Oh, something. those are the lurkers? They look completely different than other lurkers I fought. There we go. That explains a whole lot right there. Well, that's one of the orbs. You still have to, like, explore the mine for other ones. Although, I guess if we just get one of them, then we can at least go to the mountain if we so choose. This was the level that was always the hardest to me for 100% completion, because I would just not be able to find all of the orbs, the little eggs in this one. This is a pretty big level, so... Uh, pretty Feel free to do as little of it as possible. Oh. You know, do, right now doing as little of it as possible means that I just stop this game right now and pick it up some other day. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, okay, we did a whole bunch of stuff. We're, we're get, approaching the end of the stream and surprise, Spider Cave. Well, if we get just one, we can at least unlock the ice now. Yeah. Well... All right then. Did, did he died? Looks that way. We don't have like a number on the screen that shows us how many are uh, still out. Oh, there's a power cell up there. Oh, I see it. I'm just. There's one in that tree in the bottom left. Get him? Okay, I got him. Like shooting fish in a barrel.
I should watch where I fire. Why do you might blow up explosive across the level? <laughs> I like how it gave you a warning. Like it was alarmed or something. Wait, am I even hitting the tree? I think. I'm gonna get another I'm gonna get in position, but first, so there was one down here. I got him. Uh, oh, down further, huh? Or not? Down. idea for, uh, for, like, some kind of weird game recently. You know how there's, like, games where it's like, oh, the AI, it might become, like, rampant or something. Where what about a game where the player character is, like, the AI and the AI is objective? The AI's objective is, is like, as, like, a kind of a tactical thing where you control so, enemy like, soldiers. Uh, like, like, Plague, but starring Xana. No, I'm just I saying. Can see it. I'm just saying, like the game begins, and uh, like the tutorial sections as like a scientist, like testing the AI's cognitive abilities and stuff with toys and stuff. Oh, He's that, like, that that's it. One? What? That oh, to the right. Oh, yeah, you're right. Like the tutorial is passing the Turing test. Yeah, and stuff like that. And then the actual missions are you just like. With the, with the scientists in tow, just leading soldiers through, like, uh, through, like, terrorist situations and stuff. Like, uh, like, you have access to all the feeds and you just guide the soldiers through and you, you, you have direct control of, like, objects and stuff and you help them out. And you just play as a, you just play as an AI as, like, a... Okay, who's left? Hmm. Did I kill them all? None of them visibly dropped anything. God damn it. Maybe we should try to platform up to the one in the center of the room. Perhaps. Unless they didn't reset, which would be lovely. No, they seem to have all reset. Just go this way. It's gotta be in here. No, I don't. I don't have to. All right. A 
rocky a giant drill, then I'll walk slowly towards him. We take this large wooden badger. Lancelot, Galahad, and I will leap out of the rabbit. Now, is this water? Not dark eco. Oh, that's ground. Good. Thought it was water. Come on. Come at me. Let go. Motherfucker. Alright. We wait. out of the power cave as the spider caves. We can get out of the spider caves now. Can we just go by the thing? Yeah. Well, we're so already halfway up this platforming section though. Oh no, I must have fallen. You're so done with the spider caves. I'm <laughs> I, I legitimately thought I could make it there. That way. I want to come at this fresh. So I just yeah. noticed how big this fucking area is, and I'm just like... The giant robot they need. That's a good knockback angle. So, uh, you want to save here? Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> it's one, That's enough, Jack, for one day. One false move, and nope, you gotta start all over from the beginning. That's this I whole don't entire think game. The ice Mountain is quite as bad. The spider caves suck. <sighs> well, I gotta get through it. I wanna get. I don't wanna keep doing spider caves. So when we start next time, fresh. I'll be ready to do Spider Cave next time we do this game. Or we could just go back to Blue Eco area. I hear it's lovely. Quiet, you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.